Welcome, my name is Henry Avila. I'm with Chevalier Machinery. Uh, I'm here today with a Smart B8184 and today I'm going to demonstrate the installation and the removal of an 8 inch grinding wheel. Let's get started. Let me first begin by explaining what tools we'll be using in this process. On the left hand side we have our 8 inch aluminum oxide wheel with wheel flange. In the middle here we have our extraction wrench our wheel setting nut, our Y-shaped spanner wrench, and a soft hammer. So we're gonna begin this process by first opening the grinding wheel door. I'm gonna use a towel to clean off any debris that may be on my spindle nose taper. Next, I'm going to grab my wheel with the weights facing me, place it onto my spindle nose taper securely. I'm going to grab my left thread wheel setting nut, place it into my Y shaped spanner wrench. Then I'm going to use this to tighten it onto the wheel. Again, it's a left handed thread, so I'm turning it left to tighten it. Once I get the nut all the way down, I'm going to hold my wheel and just give it a little bit extra to tighten it onto the taper. Lastly, I'll close my wheel guard up, close the doors to my machine for safety. Starting the wheel after you tighten your wheel flange onto the spindle will tighten up the wheel setting nut. Now that I have demonstrated the wheel installation, let's follow the steps in reverse to remove the wheel. First, I'm going to open the doors to my machine. Open the wheel guard back up. We're going to use our Y-shaped spanner wrench again. Place it onto the wheel setting nut. Again, this is a left-handed thread, so I'm going to tap it a few times to the right just to break the nut loose. Once the nut is loose, we can completely remove it. Then I'm going to use my wheel extraction tool to pull the wheel off the taper on the spindle. This is a right-handed thread. So you can just tighten this all the way down until the wheel pops off the taper. Once that is complete, the complete wheel will come off the spindle nose and you're ready to change your wheel. That concludes our demonstration of the wheel installation and removal. If you have any questions, please contact Chevalier directly or give us a call. Thank you.